Hey, how is it going everyone? Foy is here and welcome to the part 2 of that video of the exploration of that really insane, insanely huge uh, old hospital. So last time, I mean in the first part, we did explore the first really, really huge building which was probably room for people who were sick and hard to stay there for a little bit. And now we are going to try to take a look at the really main building which is really really insane it's really huge uh, but I I hope there is still a lot of or at least a few things to see because they, they are currently destroying it uh, we don't really belong here and uh, yeah we don't have the proper uh, right to be here either so yeah um, I guess we're not really going to get in any troubles because uh, we are uh, we are only here to take a few pictures and uh, a few videos but uh, yeah I hope we are going to be safe and we are not going to have any troubles if you haven't seen the first part of that video I highly recommend you check it out uh, I put a link somewhere you know a little thing on the top a little thing on the top of the screen and uh, yeah without further ado let's go explore my friends There is old, really old containers that might have been used at some point to store some fuel, maybe to heat the place the winter. Because by the way, I forgot to mention, but we are, uh, I mean, this, this whole place is quite at, not really a top, but really high in the, moon, in the mountain. And it's probably because uh, I mean, it might just explain why this place are to close simply because it was too hard to reach, it was not really easily accessible, and so yeah, it was probably hard to get patient to to this place. So yeah, the path appeared to be closed around here, maybe because there is some heavy machinery to remove the chemicals of that building before they break it down entirely. And so we are probably going to try to enter around here. And then there is one of the main entrances here. We might be able to, uh, to go further in the building from here. I don't really know what remains of it and what is accessible and what is not because they really really started to turn things apart and just uh, yeah to break the whole thing to the ground let's give it a try
I do really love those really long ones, always. I'm probably going to take a few pictures with my dear solo lady run, because I don't really know. I don't really know why I, I like that so much, but there is just something to it. I just love it. So the thing is just seen is that is uh, I mean that's some of the machinery that is used to ext extract the chemicals I was talking about in the uh, in the first video the yeah the like the highly toxic stuff that was used to build uh, this place and so that's that's the kind of machinery that you can hear in the background that are yeah extracting uh, those chemicals. By the way, you might have noticed that there is those white things <laughs> all around the place, like here. And it's basically the, um, how to explain, to remove the, the chemicals, they have to entirely close the rooms from the outside. So the, the machine, or the machinery that you've seen like earlier that making a lot of noise, so those, ma uh, those, those machines can extract the air from those rooms and can extract the chemicals that are sort of flying around and uh, all of that. So it appears that this part of the building does suffer from water damages. My friend is not really equipped to go around there. So I'm just going to take a quick look around. Oh, there, is, there is an elevator here. Just a bunch of rooms. We are in a sort of basement here, so it was probably used for, uh, for storage purposes. It seems to be really huge. bunch of mailboxes here. Try to see around here.
So this was probably the place where uh, the water was uh, heated. Wow, that's some old half-life style elevator thing. <laughs> cool. So apparently, this was an electric kind of room. This is a really huge basement. Getting back to my friend, we might try to find another path so you can go in. There, oh, there is basically a lot of water and he doesn't really have the proper shoes to cross that. So we found a way to get my friend on that side uh, of the building, despite the, the water damages we encountered earlier. This is a really, really inter interesting part. There is an old staircase that uh, suffered for some, some damages. Oh, yeah, they did not notice that. <laughs> there we might have a way to get in. <laughs> yeah, definitely should not try to take the elevator <laughs> considering the poor state thing. Okay, so we are getting back where I was earlier. Getting back to that electric room I did the seconds seconds ago. Watch your step, there is a big hole. Watch out.
we can hear water dropping from somewhere. There is some other, or there is some uh, other kind of machinery to extract uh, the chemicals. Uh, there is one here. This was probably, yeah, somewhere where the the, the employee you know, just let. It they did some stuff before they they went to work or something. There is a door we've seen here. Just let's take a quick look around before we go in. Oh, there is. You can go upstairs. So it appears that this part of the building has been like, decontaminated. from the, the old chemicals. Yeah, we are definitely in a place that was, that was decontaminated not too long ago. There is still all the stuff around probably used to clean the place and to torn apart some stuff. Okay, but there is not that much to see but that's still pretty cool. Uh, maybe before we go any further in the building let's try to see the, the door my friend noticed earlier. So there is an upstairs here that doesn't seem to be locked. They haven't even removed the uh, secured uh, entrance into the, the chemical area. What the hell is that? Yeah. Um, I have a small doubt <coughs> right now. But I think this might be what is called in French. I don't have the English word for it, or it might be the same one. It might be a, a crematorium or a cre yeah, crematorium. I'm not sure that that's an English word, but that's basically a place where when people die, you know, uh, people who do not want to be buried. buried once uh, they're dead, they are basically uh, burned and, uh, you know, burnt into ashes. And uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's basically how it's end for them. And I believe that was the place where dead people were burnt into ashes. I have, I have a doubt yet. I haven't really seen anything like that before. And, uh, yeah. I, I like the the the, the knowledge on, on that subject, but I believe it could be that. So that's a little freaky. So there is an upstairs here as well. <laughs> <laughs> My friend just kicked a water bottle. <laughs> it is really easy to walk uh, on stuff or just push things around because there is just so much mess everywhere you just tend to not notice like everything there is around because the whole place is a freaking mess so hey it's pretty cool I like how it's like a, a contaminated 
zombie area like you see in the movies or in stuff like that. In, in such movies. And <laughs> no, that's, a, that's a pretty cool uh, atmosphere and, uh, and mood. I really like that. Oh, and so this path is getting us outside. Let me show you the reason. Really cool entrance here. Seriously, how cool is that entrance right here? That's just that's dope. in an another dark building, in a dark place. Yeah, another way to go upstairs, probably to get to that. <laughs> At this point, my videos are going to be uh, walking up and down stairs and hallway exploration. <laughs> attacked by a wasp. <laughs> and another huge doorway. Anyway. Let's try to take a quick look at it. This is going to be really hard to uh, show you the whole thing. It's insanely huge. This is, this is going to be hard to cover everything. I mean, you know, most of the rooms are going to be quite the same as always. And some part of the building might not be really accessible. Some might be just broke. I mean, entirely broken down. Oh, so there is a, there is an access where we were earlier uh, earlier to the cave to the yeah not the cave the the basement <laughs> wow Another way to the stairs. Oh, another really cool graph. I really love the style of this graph. We've just seen one on the, the last room we were in. It's really, really beautiful. The elevator here. Oh, yeah. They might still be extracting things here. I don't know. 
doesn't really seem to be turned on, but... Wow, there is a lot of those machines here used to remove the chemicals. So the thing on our left we just seen was probably used for the emergencies, you know, just to to bring people in really quickly. Blood bunch of stuff here. So where people are walking so it might be just a, some sort of base I don't know you know like a some, some kind of main room I don't know okay so I know it's not like really cool it's not really like the mood of that uh, of, uh, what I'm trying to do on this channel but I know this is a risky place there is like a lot of chemicals and stuff and so we just found out some uh, masks that are made for this kind of environment so we just uh, we just took two there was like a whole uh, giant box of those there was probably a hundred of them because they are actually made to to be used like only once and so yeah I'm gonna I'm a little bit sorry we have to do that, but I mean, like, uh, it's not really that bad, and uh, it could really be useful, and I'm not really sure, like, uh, they are going to miss uh, really badly two masks when there is, like, hundred of them in a, in a little box, but I kind of I kinda want to apologize, because this is not what I'm trying to do, and we should have came prepared to encounter this kind of stuff but yeah I'm I'm kinda sorry. Yeah, we put the masks on because we are in a, in an area of the building where it seems that uh, there is a lot of chemical processing and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it does really seem that this place is, uh, I mean, I've been decontaminated or uh, is being decontaminated not uh, 
yeah, it's either it has been decontaminated not too long ago, or either uh, it has to be decontaminated in a few uh, in a few few days or so. I don't know. Let's try to go upstairs. Take a look. I might remove the mask later on. I don't really know. I don't really want to take any risks. I'm gonna. I can have to apologize on that one as well because you might not really be able to understand me really easily. I'm gonna have to remove my backpack, my backpack to go around here. It's really insane how the whole roof is starting to sort of collapse and it's weird. But I mean, there is something beautiful to it at the same time. But as I expected it's I mean all the room the rooms are quite all the same. Wow. You know, I did not really realize it when I was on the outside. And I mean, even if I came here a bunch of times before, it's always really, I mean, you always got that crazy feeling when you're inside that building because you really don't realize how huge it is until you are inside. You know, it's like the child is, it's, so, it's always bigger in the, in the inside than in the outside. Oh. And we are arriving into the main entrance of the place, which is uh, even in a worse state than the last time I came here. This place was probably really insane and really beautiful when he was still alive, if I could say so.
seems to be a really nice balcony over there. Hey, I'm still really impressed by something with that building is that everything just seems so huge like look at the, the space there is up above my head this is really insane like I don't really get why they would need such impressive spaces and, and rooms but it's those make the the majesty of that place okay so I'll I believe we've seen everything on that floor. Yeah, we're gonna try to to get upstairs. Look at that. It's like this place has been entirely decontaminated. It almost looks like it has been that's been burned. It does look like looks like hell, man. <laughs> it feels like we are in an haunted mansion. That that's dope. <laughs> I love it like they entirely decontaminated this place and now it looks like it's have been completely burned I can't tell if this place just burned because of some malfunction of the, the machinery or the stuff or if it's just it's or if it's the, the process of cleaning this place from the chemicals and all of that that does that to the place it's it's insane it's insane Wow, there is such a view. It was probably a wonder to to walk here. Such a nice place. It does definitely looks like the place partially burnt. I haven't seen anything like that in the the rest of that building so I don't really think that that's the 
the removing of the chemicals that did that, but at some point they might they might just add, add some might add yeah some uh, malfunction with the chemicals or something, and it might have started to to burn the place. It does seem seems that they they've quite managed to to manage the fire. And once again, we've got a pretty cool balcony here. That view. We Seriously, that that our way that just burned. That's that's insane. You know what? Rather than keep going the same way, we are going to try to go upstairs. Let's try to see what else this place got for us. It seems that those floors now. I've been decontaminated a long ago. Seems that the chemicals have been removed. I might just remove my mask. My friend already removed his. Yeah, might be all right. This floor seems to be pretty empty, I guess. We are going once again to go upstairs. Uh, we might be actually getting quite close to, uh, to the very top of the building, so let's see. Watch out for the broken glass. This is getting emptier and emptier as we go further, we go, we go closer to the top. It's getting really empty, like there is even missing walls and stuff. Now it's just really huge rooms because you can see that there is missing walls from the, the stuff from the bottom, I mean underground. It really seems like stuff have been broken down.
nice. We are above the main room now. Yeah, it might appear that this place has been used in the past, maybe to to show some kind of. Uh, it does look like it. It does really makes me think of a theater from the um, the anti echo echo and yeah, you know, background noise stuff there is on the roof. There, there used to be um, some kind of platform here, uh, maybe to, f I mean, you know, for, for, for the artists or something like that to produce, and it does appear to have some kind of uh, room for, uh, for the people to watch the show, I guess. You know, you have to, you have to try to imagine a little bit in this kind of situation, because there is not like so much stuff remaining, there is not so much stuff left to uh, indicate to you what this place was used for before it got in such a pool. There is some kind of really tiny balcony over there. Hello. Yeah, definitely. We are getting close to the top. There is probably another way to get upstairs to that room for the, the people to watch the show. You can see in the distance there is an really old building that was probably home for the nurses and doctors and stuff like that. But there is there is really not much raining. So yeah, the place you just saw in the distance, well, there is really incredible echo here. Yeah, so much reverb. <laughs> yeah, so that place you saw in the distance, that um, that was probably just home for nurses and stuff like that. It's really hard to, hard to tell because yeah, it's one of the first places they started to destroy, and it actually did start quite a while back. And so, I never actually really saw that place in in, in a good shape. Uh, but I did so like the this main building in, in way better shape than it is right now. And uh, 
So yeah, there is really not so much thing left to see on that building. I'm not really even sure I'm going to show it to you or like maybe maybe really quickly, but there is really nothing. It's just at this point, it's just walls. All right, we are going upstairs once again. We have seen, I believe, everything on the on the floor, as always. And we might just miss a few things here and there, but I believe we've seen the most important stuff. We might be able to access the the platform for the the people to watch the show at the sort of theater thing from here. They did really like and have a really good taste for little sweet balcony. It's really sweet and does makes for a really really cool view and a really cool panoramic shot. That's pretty nice. There is really beautiful landscapes around this place. machinery was probably used to maybe hit in the place or cool it down when it was submerged. Or, yeah. Then only, only trying to make a hypothesis. And there's no real way to be sure. <laughs> Let me try to put my camera up above. Uh, I believe I'm too short. <laughs> Would you try? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, my friend is taller, it's working way better when he is trying. I'm way too short. It's good. Thank you. <laughs> nice. I don't even know what we just recorded, but <laughs> hopefully that was, that was a nice shot. It does really appear that we are getting under the roof. I can see the, the structure. Of, uh, of of the rooftop and it's even missing at some at some point and uh, yeah I'm not I'm, I'm not really sure we can go further if I remember properly there is some kind some kind of uh, you no know, religious things like uh, for when people wanted to pray and stuff I believe it's uh, right in front of us I'm not really sure we are going to take a look at it and see what what's left for us to explore. So that's the place, see? Wait. So they might use to project movies or stuff from here, I believe. And the room for the people to near yeah, the seats for the people to, to watch the theater or the, the movies was, uh, was right here. Probably, pro it was probably a really, really cool place to be a long ago. I mean, still, it is an hospital, but uh, can be a really cool place.
So my hypothesis for this place, as it is at the very top of the building, and because of how it's, it has been built and how it's just made, I believe it was some kind of room where people used to go if they wanted to pray or, uh, you know, just to do some religious stuff. It's really insane. We've gotten freaking awesome view on the mountains from those giant windows here. pretty really cool there is this sort of giant hole where the roof the rooftop just collapsed and there is a really really insanely great view around here this is really cool So we are almost done. There is like one more, one more hallway to explore, and I really know you want to see that hallway. <laughs> no, honestly, there is really nothing really special to see. We have seen uh, pretty, we've seen pretty much uh, everything there was to see in that whole building, and in the other one. We are going to finish this hallway. See if we did not miss anything then we are going to, to leave and to go really, really quickly see <laughs> and there is, there is a lot of birds around, you can probably hear them and, yeah, and then we are going to go quickly check that other building uh, but really quickly, maybe like a, just a few minutes so I know there is really nothing special to it and I don't want to spend too much time on it Oh, there is stairs here. A bunch of broken glass, glasses. Yeah, you know what? Let's try. Yeah, uh, let's try to get down with your stairs. I mean, we've seen everything, so now let's just uh, try to find a way down and uh, quickly take a look to that older building.
I prefer to put back on the mask. We are getting back to the contaminated area. Okay, my friend did not really came really well equipped to go here. I can uh, hurt, uh, I mean, my feet does hurt a little bit because of the jump I just made. But I can still walk, it's all right. But my friend cannot really make it, so he's going to find another way around. Turns out I was not able to get down from where I was. So I just came back to the main room and I'm just going to leave from here and going to get back to my friend. Those here are the remains of old buildings, but uh, yeah, tinier ones. And I, I think they are just keeping the the bigger ones for the last. Salut
Thumbs up, subscribe. Thumbs up, subscribe. Foi. Logging out.